What do you do? I'm studying uh, in public health, yeah, university, and also I'm volunteering, uh, helping my fellow refugees while they are seeking, seeking health facilities here in Uganda. And also I'm co-founder of Mira Group, a youth-led initiative whereby we are promoting peaceful coexistence and helping youth to be self-reliant through culture, our cultural performances, entrepreneurship skills. What drove you into this field? To be a volunteer in health facilities, I faced some kind of discrimination while I was seeking health services, whereby because of not even knowing the English, the language barrier, then I took decision as someone who was educated. I realized that if you don't know English, if you don't know the language, sometimes it's very difficult to express yourself. So I take the decision, then I realized that I have to do something so that I can be the voice of others. I can give hope to others because some refugees, they are just there. They are helpless. They don't know where to start, how to express their feeling. Then I say, no, I have to do something so that I can help my communities. Yes. What is your greatest source of energy? Whenever I'm trying to give my best to my community, when I, I saw some improvement, it gave me strength of working hard, yes. What was your most impressive childhood experience? I liked the way I had my friend, how we were studying, how we used to play. I really miss the kind of how we were playing when I was a little girl, yes. What is the best advice you've received? There was a time that I was feeling down. Then there's this lady. She's like, she's my mentor. I always like her. She always encouraged me that whatever you are doing, be courageous, be strong, push everything so that we can be successful. So whenever I always look into her messages, I always be strong. Yes. If it's not the same, what is the best advice you can give? The best advice that I can get is like, whenever situation you are passing through, there's always solution. So there is no, no situation which are permanent. So we have to be strong in whatever situation that we are passing through, either negative or positive. What would you like to achieve in this lifetime? Okay, I want to see vulnerable people, especially women, girls, and youth being a center of development here in Africa. Because it's really sad to see women, they are the mother of the nation. They are not educated. They are not even being role models to their children because of the situation that we are passing through. So I really want to see that achievement, especially in among refugees and migra my migrant people. What brings us together? It is the matter of unity, working together, sharing. That th those are the things that they can bring people together. Because I cannot feel free to you when we are not sharing our histories. What makes us human? What makes us humans when you will see that someone is human towards a challenging situation? It's where you come to find out Yes, I'm a real human. What is your strongest conviction? Okay, when I'm, I'm, uh, I'm talking to God, I'm always convinced that everything will be successful. Yes. What is the most courageous decision you've made? I reached here and I saw that the situation was really hectic. I couldn't manage because I had big family. And also my husband was around me, but he was not able to work. It's where I decided my, my, myself to do something, to work hard to see that I can raise my children, can get education. 
I can help my people. Yes. What does home mean to you? It's where I can get free. I can be free to express my feeling. I can be free to do whatever I want. What role does spirituality play in your life? The, I passed through many things. Without God, I couldn't manage. But because I believe in God, I was successful. Even though I still have a long journey, yes. Who are you? Bella Shimiriman. I'm a refugee from Burundi. Married, yes.